this is the america they don't show you on tv i can't believe these are real homeless people in the streets of dc i mean people always think the grass is green on the other side but the truth is the grass is green where you water it Okay hey guys, so I am about to walk out. Someone, the guy there, just opened the door coming in and let me tell you, I felt the cold, it's so cold, I'm scared of stepping out. But I have to, so let's do it. It's so cold, but I'm warm. Um, Modemaya told me how to dress. You put layers of clothes. You don't just wear one cloth, so I feel warmer. Oh yeah, and the the waiter gave me cold water, and I was like, "Oh please, can you change it to room temperature?" Because I can't, I can't. I don't understand how this sun is shining, yet it is so cold. But then, do I expect there not to be a sun at the same time? Uh, so this is our hotel. Yes, really beautiful. Yeah, it's a Washington Plaza hotel. I, what I'm trying to do is walk to the White House. I have been told it's two blocks this way. Walk straight down and then I see the White House. So I'm gonna walk down. I'm very happy. Why? Because I put it up on my social media that who wants to hang out with me in Washington DC? And guess what? I got a couple of responses. I responded to some guys. So I'm meeting up this lady, she's called Vanessa. And uh, she says she's a nurse in Washington DC. So I'm super excited to meet up with her. Uh, yeah, at least I'm gonna have someone. It's one right now in Washington DC, which means it's 9 p.m. in Kenya. And it is like 9, 8, 7, 6 p.m. in Ghana. So I am just gonna walk down to the White House, then come back and meet her because I'm like, I won't just sit in my hotel room and wait for her to come. Do you get? So yeah, walk to White House. I've been there before, but I just wanna, you know, refresh my brain. I mean, why not? And then walk back the hotel probably should be back and then um you know go and explore the rest of washington dc so i haven't even shown you guys my outfit of the day but i will i'm so grateful to be in washington dc i love this place i'm telling you i love it Today I'm wearing two layers of, you know, trousers, two layers of these tops. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> Who's that on the roundabout? Let me know you guys. Anyway, I was told uh, the White House is down this side. I don't know if it's... Should I be crossing or should I be going that side? I don't know. Oh, I think it's straight like this. I think so. And I also need to get something at the CVS pharmacy. So I think I'm going to go in there. <clears throat> it's like, you know, everyone, everyone likes to follow the rules. Yeah, I have the door. Have the door. Have the door. Oh, thank yeah, you. Perfect. Thank you. Right, well. Guys, I've seen something very interesting. See that guy? His dog pooped <laughs> while he was walking it. Then guess what happened? He literally just stopped, picked up the poop and threw it in the bin. I think that is so cool, you know? I have not seen that happen before. Maybe it's because this place is paved. That's why he had to do that. But where I'm from, when the dog poops, we just leave it. Because it's like fertilizer to the ground, I guess. Plus it's usually mostly in soil place, so soil where there is soil. So it's really interesting to see that people are playing their part in keeping the environment clean and conducive for other people. So God. Hmm. <laughs> guys we just came to the white house but unfortunately it's sealed off like you guys can see the yellow tape so we can't go in 
Oh, this is too bad. I was really looking forward to taking a close photo. Okay, go to the right. This side? Okay. I'm gonna show you right here. Guys, so this is the close, closest I can come right now. Because as you guys can see, <laughs> it's sealed off. Oh, okay, last time I was closer, but this is the best I can do right now, unfortunately. But well, at least I can see the White House and I can see they put a Christmas, Christmas decoration. Oh man, too bad. Did you get it? Yeah, I tried to. That's something. Yep, it is. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Guys, so I just wanted to show you that whenever you come to the White House, there's only some demonstrations for some reason. This one says, Shop China's Agar. It's called Uyghur Genocide. Um, the next one is saying independence is the only way forward for East Pakistan. Um, yeah, uh, too bad I can't go close, but at least I took some photos. If you want to see them, come over to my Instagram and uh, check it out. <laughs> and I also met an amazing lady. I won't show. Can I take you from the back as you look this side? Let me take you from the back. Don't, don't look back. This is her. She doesn't want me to show her face. <laughs> <laughs> but she turned um yeah uh, she was so kind i was actually lost and she told me to follow her and i actually did and i found my way thank you so much for being kind and her husband is from africa yeah her husband is from west africa amazing thank you god bless you and your family thank you so much a fellow african yeah so <laughs> funny I've just been shown a building that's next to the White House. It's called the Executive Office Building. Uh, apparently, that is where the Vice President, Kamila Harris, has her office. And I'm just wondering, guys, look at all these people who are here taking photos and videos. But then when you go to White House in Kenya, you're not allowed to take to take photos or videos. In fact, they tell you, keep your camera away, you know? Also, I think in Ghana as well. Why do we do that in Africa, you know? See, so, so many guys just free taking videos and photos. I feel like it should be the same in Africa. We should just go to State House and just take photos. What do you guys think? Drop a comment. Let us know. So I think I should rush back to the hotel because of the lady who was coming to meet me. Um, so I can go to other places. At least they should come to the White House. Yeah. Oh, he's always here with the stop oh, really? because there's someone here with a stop hating each other because you disagree sign and i'm being told that he's always here let me show you why don't you cross cross if you can get close up of it oh yes i will come this way guys can you see the black lives matter apparently i've been told that this, this is, is where the uh, world meets right here in front of this white house I try to play uh, national This is where they named this road Black Lives Matter Street because of what happened. And this church is also painted. And uh, yeah, because of the Black Lives Matter demonstrations. And you can see, this is interesting. I didn't know that. I'm surprised they don't have a bigger sign. They used to have a bigger Yeah, the sign is up there. It's not that big. It's tiny. You could also miss it. You're not careful. It's a great idea. Thank you so much, my photographer for the day. Should I come? So the thing is, um, usually we think life in America is fancy. Everything is fancy. People are living the life. But the truth is that America is just like any other country, as you guys can see. Um, they have homeless people and it's so sad because it's really cold as I'm walking right now in DC I am freezing cold guys and I have layers of clothes inside so I can only imagine these guys who are sleeping in these tents and this is not a camping site guys no these are real homeless people you know I honestly did not expect to bump into you know such people and the shocking thing is it's not very far from White House you know a few minutes from White House and you come across what some people call a tent city 
you know just homeless people sleeping in the streets um i think they're intense now because it's winter um during summer you know you'd see them outside more and it's just very sad and heartbreaking you know because some of these people are in the streets because they are drug addicts some of them you know lost their jobs life in america is very expensive and you can't afford to mess around you know um some people people are here because of different reasons and it's very shocking because there are so many people a friend of mine just told me about how someone actually froze to death um because they were out during winter you know and as you can see these tents might not be warm enough for everyone they just try and survive you know and they use these carts to push their things around so you see them sometimes during the day when the sun is out just moving things in carts around the city and honestly this is not what i expected to see in america it's just heartbreaking this just goes to tell you that the grass is not always greener on the other side the grass is green when you where you water it I wanted to go inside the camp but I was really scared to offend some people given that I am not American I was scared of the reaction I don't know if you know I don't know what could happen but I just thought it's nice to show you guys this so that you can appreciate where you are in life so that you may know that you know America is not perfect it's just like every other country guys can you imagine sleeping in tents this, this is sad like and, and and i've seen they have like a washroom outside it's just sad guys i just i i, I hope these people are gonna be okay i hope um some of them will get the help that they need and that they're gonna be able to get themselves out of this situation because man this is horrible this is and it's just right in the middle of the city this is crazy i have heard that the american government has tried to get these people off the streets but for some reason they always come back so i i don't know i really don't know i hope they can be reunited with their families you know like where are their families i don't know guys um but this this is the real this is the real streets of dc this is me walking um in the streets of dc and i i'm, I'm in shock i still can't believe it uh, I was just a little scared to show their faces because you know I don't want to put anyone on blast and it's not their fault that they are homeless but this is just insane it's sad it's crazy what do you guys think of all this it's 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 crazy it's sad oh my god what I'm, I'm in I'm in I'm in shock you know wow I'm even speechless. I don't know what to say. I think it's time to go. Someone asked me to video them. Hello. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? She met a friend in DC. <laughs> she was doing a video. I said, Can I be on your video? Exactly. <laughs> Tell them what's your name. Uh, my name is Jean Claude. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you for being so friendly. I know, right? Yes, I'm Trudy. I'm from Kenya. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caribou, right? Uh, Welcome. Are you Kenyan? No, no, why? Well, How do you know that? Oh. So, hey, these are my guys. You guys go walk it out. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> She's from Kenya. She's doing some videos. Oh, you're from Kenya? Yeah. Nairobi? Yep. Okay. He's, he's from South Africa. Really? I am not from there. I've been. I, I spent a month and a half there a few years ago. Oh, okay. You're originally from here. Yeah, yeah. Originally. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you too. Check you. Check yourselves on my YouTube channel, Miss Trudy. Miss what? Trudy. Let me, let me add it. Yeah. T R U D Y. Sorry. T R U D Y. Yes. Alrighty, I'll look into it. There. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too. This is Miss. Uh, Miss. Miss Trudy. T R U D Y. That was, yeah. that was fast. That's oh, my that's channel. You. Now keep watching. Yes. Thank you for the US CPM. Yeah, that's yeah. a high CPM. Yes. Thank you. You're so kind. When are you going back to Nairobi? Uh after a week. Okay. I'm planning on coming there next year. Really? Yeah. Oh, enjoy yourself. Yeah. But take care. You might not want to come back. Oh, yeah, it's going to be so good. <laughs> I saw this video yesterday. Let me show mm. I was laughing. I want you to tell me if it's true. What's that? 
Let me see. There was a guy playing on your radio yesterday. Uh huh. It is some funny. I know it's funny. I don't think he means it. Ooh. I got a lot of Kenyan friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He was playing this. Okay. Welcome to Nairobi. Where my girlfriend is your girlfriend. <laughs> That's true. Well, I was just making fun. Okay, your girlfriend is my girlfriend. Okay, ah. you know, I'll go down there. So you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I got a lot so of Kenyan much. friends. Wow. I like your vibe. I was telling one of my friends, I said, I want to go to Nairobi. He told, she told me, you ain't coming back. I was like, why? <laughs> and guess what he told me? What? A lot of my tacos. Ah! Oh no, oh, thank you. Thank you. That guy is so funny. What the hell? Did you guys did you, did you get it? <laughs> wow. I'm glad I caught that on camera. So glad I did. Okay, let's cross the road now. Guys, looks like Wakanda was a big deal. They're actually advertising it on buses here in Washington DC. Wow. Okay, this is a big movie. Wow, okay. Many of us think that America is just fancy, you know, people are living the life, which is true. Uh, this is the greatest country on the continent in every way when you talk about, you know, um, infrastructure, talk about, you know, the entertainment industry, talk about, you know, the army, the weapons. Uh, well, the thing is, America is just like every other country. There are sides of this country that we do not see. And they had these homeless people in America, and I couldn't believe it, you know. I'm like, what? Homeless people in America? How? Because we always think America is all that, you know. It's fancy, which it is, but I don't know. It's not perfect. Many people complain that when, when these guys come to Africa, they show the negative side, they show the poor side of Africa, you know, they show the side of Africa that is the worst, poverty, diseases, and you wonder, is that because their own country is perfect? Do they show the worst sides of our country because their country is so perfect? 